So we continue with basic image processing and analysis. Now moving on to ISO contouring with a defined SUV threshold. ISO contouring is a very useful void definition technique because it allows careful control of the voxel inclusion threshold and the search area can be confined to a user-defined boundary. It's particularly useful for PET and SPEC data where there is high tracer uptake in a given region or organ, but it can also be used to segment bone or lungs, contrast enhanced lesions in CT, or clear contrast or enhanced areas in MR. So in this case, we'll work with the view tool again, and we'll work with mouse six from the Bruker PCI database. For this mouse, we have the original PET whole body series, which we will add to the selected for loading tab and open. Once open, double check that the MIP is activated. As before, using the button in the center of the image display, selecting MIP and a clear display for this animal is inverted gray color table with thresholds between 0 and 0 0.05. Once that's configured, then you'll see MIP showing the display of the mouse. We can see that uptake is high in bladder, kidneys, heart and the Hardierian glands. We can see the brain and we can see this xenograft lesion on the right hand flank. And this is what we will isocontour. This is the interesting part of this mouse model and we'll isocontour then with a fixed SUV threshold. If we want to do that easily we can convert the whole image into SUV units. And to do that, we have access to image processing tools with a shortcut just to the top right of the image display. This provides a menu of many tools, at the bottom of which we find SUV image calculation. And with this example, when we first try to use that tool, we get a warning that something is wrong with the units in the image, and we would need kilobecquerel per cc defined in the image to make our SUV calculations. This is quite common when data has been imported from formats that don't have detailed headers, but we can easily fix such a problem. In this case, if we go to the image information in the top right of the image display, we get a large dialog containing lots of information about the image. On the edit tab in the lower portion, we can see the value units, which at the moment are simply set to fractional units. From the menu, we can select kilobecquerel per cc, as we were told was required, and then we can set those units. We get a confirmation, and we see that the values themselves will not be changed. So we say yes to that, and we see the change reflected in the upper panel, where we see the units for value and time, kilobecquerel per cc, and seconds. Then to enter the SUV information, or to check it, we can use edit subject and study information. In this dialog we see elements from the DICOM header and then we also see extra information from the study or series and SUV parameters. Here we see that we have a study date with reasonable timing for somebody doing a typical experiment. So we have a certain date and time just after 8 o'clock in the morning. If we then check the SUV parameters tab, we see missing date time information, we see limited information for the dose, we do have the half-life and the radiopharmaceutical, but we don't have information about the remainder, and our dose at image decay correction time does not look correct. So in this case, if we explore the timing available, we do have an acquisition time, we don't have a scan time, and if we want to edit these times, in any case, we need to select the scan time. Here we can then manually enter the time that corresponds to the study, ideally from written records about the study, and in this case, the information we had from the study and series tab. So therefore, we have the date time 2019, 529, and the time 823, 39. And then this can be copied and pasted into the image decay correction date time using the icon to the right hand side. 
And at this point, we get a more reasonable dose at image decay correction time. If we had more information about the dose remaining after injection, we could also update that part. So now we can confirm these settings. We can accept this missing series date because we have enough other information. And we can close the image information tab. Now we've updated the information for the image. And so from those processing tools, we can again select SUV image calculation. Now the dialog opens. We see the modified parameters. But if we want to calculate the SUV for body weight, we will need a more reasonable body weight. At the moment, one gram is not looking correct. So we can update the subject weight to 25 grams. In fact, we could choose from several methods for SUV or a simple injected dose per mil. For now, we stick with the standard SUV body weight. So now that we have correct information, we can create our new image. If we leave replace unchecked, we can make a copy of the image with SUV units, meaning that we can easily switch back to the original later. So when I confirm, the processing takes place. We get a confirmation. And the image display changes to reflect a change in units. But you can see that the MIP has not changed. So in this case, if we go back to the General Image Manipulations tab, we can enter a new threshold for the top of the color table. If we enter 5, then again we see a reasonable representation of our pet data in the three orthogonal planes. Before continuing with the analysis, we can check the data. If we open the data inspector on the top right of the image display, we now see the units identified as gram per mil for SUV body weight. If we move the cursor over an interesting part of the image, like the myocardium, then we should see some reasonable SUV value. So that all looks good. Now I can proceed to the VOIs tab using the workflow button in the lower right. And here we want to draw around the lesion that we saw earlier. I can use the MIP as a navigator, clicking on the lesion. That will triangulate that hotspot in the image. I can zoom in by a factor of four to help me see what I'm working on. You see how the uptake in this lesion is much fainter than the myocardium, so we need to use a more controlled segmentation method. In this case, that's what the isocontouring will give us, but first we should define a boundary. So I can use a spherical VOI with a fixed radius to define a boundary. In this case, I get the Create Sphere dialog. I can use a radius of 7 millimeters and create new VOI. And because I was well centered on the lesion, that 7 millimeter radius does not include myocardium. It outlines the lesion quite well. If there was a problem, I could change that radius and apply that change. For now, I can close this dialog. And now, finally, after all this preparation, I can open the isocontouring tool where we get a new dialog initially seeing no beneficial effects. First I can set the default parameters so we see that with a 50% thresholding method we would have a reasonable outline of this lesion but this is only a percentage and if we want to switch to an exact SUV value we can select value and we can enter a reasonable range. If we enter just one, then we see rather no pixels selected in the VOI. If we move that to 0 0.5, now we see a similar VOI to the initial threshold. And based on a value selected for a given study, we could use a value of 0 0.6, resulting in a slightly tighter contour. Now I can confirm calculation of that VOI and then I can go on and calculate my statistics. If I calculate the statistics for the current image then we immediately have SUV output. That could be copied to clipboard, could be saved in the PMOD format. Alternatively 
I can also switch back to the original image using the menu in the top right. You see that the second image has the suffix SUV body mass. If I switch back to the original data and open the data inspector, then we have our kilovecker of CC units again, but with the corrected SUV information. So in this case, I still have my VOI around the lesion. I can calculate statistics and switch to SUV mode where I need to check if everything is up to date and so for example I can still control the data and enter any changes that need to be made before getting the same SUV result as for the other image.